Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 715 review. That is seven, that is one, that is five of One Piece. Yo, dude. All right, so let me, first of all, let me start by saying that, of course, last week's chapter ending, I wasn't too, you know, pleased about, obviously, because the whole bull thing. Uh, someone told me that in the next block there's a fucking lion. I'm like, really? That ass is a lion? Um, fuck. Fuck. But whatever. And, and, and that's the thing that I don't really understand. Because Luffy doing this kind of stuff to giants is expected. He, he's been through two years of training. He knows Haki. He's, uh, learned a lot more. He's, he's more keen on his Dufford abilities. So him not getting a giant is, is is whatever, like whatever. But this week's chapter One Piece. Oh man! Oh, it's all about the martial arts. Oh, hand to hand combat specialist. Like one exception, this bounty hunter, uh, Gene the Thief or Gene the Bandit. He can take weapons and throw them, but like like really powerful throws like he threw a sword at some dude and it like pierced like right through his bottom left abdomen area like it went like that thing was taken out clean like it was like what the fuck but aside from that guy and then oh so let me just talk talk more more about that guy basically that guy i don't think it's the ability when he threw those weapons uh this gene individual this uh, gene the bandit guy i think that it's a hockey ability because again like some of these abilities that we see in one piece uh they're not always all duffer related like this other guy this guy um uh, what the boxer the triple x boxing champion the uh Ideo guy the can Ideo, he punches and his punches look like explosions but he wants the man man no meat meaning that he wants to eat he, he wants to eat the devil fruit which means that these punches are not are not duff fruit based they are probably hockey based. So, like, Oda has to do... If, if there's two things in this series that Oda has to explain in thorough detail, it's the Delphi origins and, of course, the capacity of, of the Delphi the essence of the Delphi and how it can be utilized in inanimate objects and hockey. Because, again, the fact that Shanks could damage a ship and his hockey leaked out, that's a sign that hey that that lets me know that hey you know hockey can do more than what the conventional three stages are i mean and i also believe that again sanji's fire and zoro's uh manifestation of demons that also has to be hockey related because it's something to do with spirit as as i said before a few times in my videos and, and on discussions and on live streams hockey yeah and I, I i know i'm deviating but it's very important shit, obviously hockey is separated into three categories, all right? Hao Shokuno ha uh, Haki, uh, that's, uh, you know, Hao Shokuno, Ken Boshino, and Buso Shoku, all right? And the way they are categorized by Rayleigh, in some trans, the translations vary, but in a general scope, it's intimidation, presence, and spirit. The key one, I think, is spirit. Because spirit, depending on the character's mindset and how strong they are and their mental fortitude, they could be able to perform certain unique feats that are spirit-based that would be categorized as Haki, but they wouldn't normally be uh, categorized as the normal Buso Shoku Haki, which is like the armament Haki, which is like the black mask, or just an, or just like a normal aura around a sword or weapon. Like, for example, in this chapter, we see Bo. Bo, he had his axe cladded. He said he had his axe covered in armament Haki, but it wasn't any, like, black mask. So there's different stages of Haki, and I think Oda has to do a lot better job explaining that later on. But, of course, not in this week's chapter. This week's chapter, it's all about the martial arts hand-hand motherfuckers, man. And in this week's chapter, Ichiro Oda introduced a new style of Kenpo. Like, dude! Okama Kenpo, we have the Rokishi styles, we have the Black Lake style, and now we have the Fist of Eight Impacts. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the... Yeah, I, like the moment I saw Sai do what he did to that one guy, where he he took his Chinese pole arm, he stabbed on the ground, and he went to the air. 
he tapped the shield of the of this or kind of tapped the shield of this one guy. He kicked it, and then the impact of that kick, like, went to his helmet and like crushed his head. I'm like, Sanji's gotta learn this. Oh, dude, yes, yes, come on, Sanji's so gotta learn this. Yo, I mean, Wano Kuni for Zoro, but Kano Kuni for Sanji. Let's go, let's go, dude. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Wano Kuni Samurai base, and it appears that the Kano Kuni are very similar to the Wano Kuni because the Kano Kuni have their own navy, the Hapo Navy. This uh, this individual Sai, he is the com he is the thirteenth commander of the Hapo Navy, and then Don Chinjao, he was the he is the retired twelfth commander of the Hapo Navy. So they have their own navy. Forget about the Marines and the Norm Navy. They have their own Navy. So the Kano, Kuni, Kano Kuni's looking real good right now. They're looking real good. And yo, Chin Jiao, hockey up. Oh, hockey up. Like, yeah. Yo. Like, it was over. It was done. Some of these dudes on the ground, like, they took dirt naps. <laughs> they took dirt naps. Like, fuck, mm, hockey up. We can't stand Chin Jiao's will. And then Chin Jiao, he's fucking all these people. And then he said he, he said one line that I was like, oh fuck, here we come. He's like, oh Garth, I wish I could I wish you could see what I'm gonna what I'm about to do to your son. I'm like, or your grandson. I'm like, fuck. Chin Jiao, he's coming. He's knocking out like 15 dudes with this hot pole. Like, yeah, get the fuck out the fuck out of here, man. This ah, it's, awesome. it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. I like it. I love it. I fucking fucking love it. Oh, Chin Jiao for the win. But that's very important to know. How it appears that Kano Kuni is very similar to Wano Kuni. It's just that Kano Kuni, obviously, obviously, more Chinese paid. I mean, more Chinese based. They have the Chinese suits, they have the Chinese weapons, the pole arm, they have the Chinese, you know, like they, it's more Chinese based. They have the name Sai, uh, well, Bo, I don't, I don't know about Bo, but uh, Chin Jiao, come on, really? Yeah, it's Chinese based. Where Wano Kuni is obviously more samurai based. Uh, that, that's obvious. So. If Oda does plan on doing something in the future with them going places to train, and if there's ever gonna be, if there's ever gonna be like another time skip, please, mother of God, please send Sanji over to Okano Kuni. Please, oh my God, I would fucking love it if he did that shit. These guys are epic. They're nasty. They kick you, bam, boom, no impact, no, no here, bam, head, fuck. Um, but aside from that, there's also the Again, as, as, as I said before, there is the boxing champion guy, this individual, the uh, explo the explosive cannon, Ideo. Apparently, he is the New World Central Brawling V2 champion. So, it appears that there's like like uh, almost like an MMA, like UFC type of section in the New World, where dudes compete, and like they brawl and shit, and this guy, yeah, he can punch, and his punches are equal to like an explosion, like actual cannon explosions, but much stronger. Why is that? The giant, even though he's on the ground, he's still the giant, big guy. He's like, yo, you're taking up space. He 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 cops back. Bam. He's able to send this big ass giant flying from the middle of the ring to the stands. Now, granted, it's not on, it's not on some, you know, like King Punch Elizabeth shit. No, I, I oh that's oh. Oh, King! Fuck, oh, how was that? But the thing about it is that it's a very impressive punch. That's regardless a very impressive punch. The fact that he can send a giant flying back like that in one punch. This guy ain't no joke. This Ideo dude is no. I mean, Luffy, yeah, like he knocked him out with one shot. But this guy, he, he sent him flying back. His whole body was jettisoning back, like boom, right into the stance. So, and I'm not saying that, I'm not I'm not saying that he's more powerful than Luffy. I'm just saying that you know, like whoa, like this guy has some nice ass punches. Uh, and then also we have Funk Brothers. Uh, we have the one guy, uh, uh Carrie Funk, and then we have another guy, um, uh, Bobby Funk. So we have Carrie Funk and Bobby Funk, and with these guys, they're just straight up brawlers. Carrie Funk, he don't give a fuck. 
This guy, he is literally punching this dude continuously, like in like a non-stop Gatling gun of Luffy. Of course, without the rubber ability. But it's just that he will not stop. The guy's knocked out. And he continues to lay on the storm, this rain of punches. And his brother, his I think his gag is basically, he's gonna hold him, like he's gonna say, stop, 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 but he's holding him up. He's like, yeah, stop, dude, don't do it, man. Don't do it, even though I'm holding him up, don't do it. Even when the even when the guy fell down and Carrie uh, continued to stomp on him, he was holding the guy down. And he was like, don't do it, man, even though I'm holding him down, don't do it. So that was moderately funny. But there's a point where the, I, I, I forgot what Bo is. I, I think Bo is the lieutenant commander of the Hapo Navy. Uh, you know, one of Chin Zhao's grandsons. Basically, a Bo, he comes in there, he, he engaged in combat with, with, um, with a carry Funk. First shot, it's like Carrie Funk, gets, he gets flying back. All right, this fist of the eight impacts is no joke. He gets that flying the fuck back, right? And then his brother comes in to, to, to protect him. And then Bo's gonna kill him with the axe. He's gonna cut him with the axe. Which apparently was arm and hockey clad. Not, not even a dent on his brother's body. His brother just tanks it, like whatever. Nothing. And the axe breaks off. Then his brother's then his brother tells his brother tells him to do something. Or give him something. And the next time we see Carrie Funk, he is beating the living shit out of Bo. He is beating the dog shit out of Bo. You will not stop with the punches. He's like, yeah, why are you, you what, gonna call me fucking trip again, huh? Hey, 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 you gonna call me a fucking trip again, motherfucker? He will not stop. So, I don't know. I mean, and he got hulked up like he was a small dude with a Napoleon complex, and then he hulked the fuck up real quick. He got big as fuck, like yeah, yeah like he would, like he was taking like horse pills all day long, yeah, and he just beat the shit out of Bo. So, and that's very intriguing, very intriguing. And of course, the last thing we see is uh, apparently Luffy. He got his helmet stolen by the uh, bandit guy. And right now, we're having all these competitors. And apparently, there's 40 competitors left in the ring right now. So, overall, very intriguing. I mean, again, I like this. I like it because these guys, they're martial, like they're hand to hand martial artists. And like, they're, I mean, granted, the Funk Brothers, okay, they're, they're straight up brawls, right? But. It's just that, or at least carries. Uh, Bobby, we're not too sure about him. But the thing about it is that just seeing this fist, this new martial arts style being, uh, uh, being introduced to the story, that is obviously solely Kano Kuni based, which kind of, I guess, a form of Chinese Kempo, or it's supposed to stem from Chinese Kempo. This uh, fist of the eight impacts. That shit's awesome. Again, like, I get, I would love to see Sanji learn not only the Rokishi style, but also this style as well. Where he can kick someone, and the impact of his kick is directed towards like the head area, or like the arm area, or like its target impact and target damage. Oh, I'd be so... Oh, Ichiro Oda. Making, he has so many styles of fight, and so many means to just uh, 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 fight in this series. It's not even funny. So many ways to just uh, engage in combat. Fuck, dude. Dude, it's awesome. I like it. I love it. Uh, again, in my personal opinion, my preference, the hand hand martial artist over the swordsman. I know people think otherwise, but me personally, when I'm seeing Chinja, he's knocking out dudes, direct impact. Yo, Garp, I wish you were here to see what I'm about to do to your fucking grandson. Ah, love it, man. Ah, oh, hockey up. Hockey the fuck up. Yeah. So the chapter is simple. But I just really like it. The pacing was moderately okay. Art style was as usual, clustered. There's a shit ton of shit going on, which is a negative, and I guess I mean I like it, but it is very clustered sometimes. And there's always a lot of words going on in One Piece. There's always a lot of words, a lot of things going on. You miss one panel, you may miss something very important. 
But aside from that, in my personal opinion, the chapter I thought was damn good. I thought it was a damn good chapter. I'm gonna give it a good plus. Yeah, that's right. Good plus. Good plus. I mean, I know, I know, everyone's all about the Sam Ryan. Sam right here. Ding. Yeah, I, I get it. But fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. So, chapter three gonna work. Uh, good plus. I'll give a good plus. Now, because yeah, I'm that biased with martial arts and and masters. I am. I really am. I was talking the other day on live stream, right? Theory. Put out there. Fujitora. Abilities. He brings down the Muna and Ozan. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yo! If he got serious, then fuck it. Bring the moon down. I shit myself. I shit myself mid-review. <laughs> fuck it. Dude. Ah. Oh. Because... I was hearing that, again, NL or the moon was supposed to be incorporated in the, in the arc, but then I'm hearing not the case anymore. Like, I, I, I heard that that was a mistranslation or, or, or uh, that didn't mean like that's what I heard. I don't know. I have no idea. But if, if in fact, that was a, a correct translation of what was stated, and if, in fact, the moon will be incorporated in the arc, then that would be one hell of a way to bring in the moon, literally. Have Fujitora actually try and using his abilities, his tractor abilities, because that's what I'm calling it from now on. Using his tractor abilities, able to rip the moon from orbit and say fuck it, or uh, the uh, yellow moon, the yellow green moon that Anno's on, and rip that shit from orbit and say come the fuck down here. I'll be nice. I'll be real nice. I'll be real nice. Yeah, that's that's one that hell of a way to incorporate now. You're gonna wonder, well, how 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 are they gonna destroy it? Chin jam. <laughs> Yo, well, cause he's not in his prime anymore, so I don't think he I don't think he can shatter kindness anymore. But if there's a person who could destroy some of that caliber, chin jam. Fuck it. Yo, if the legends if the legends are true, that's all I'm saying. I know, crazy as it's a crazy theory. But if it happens, oh fuck, oh fuck. But I'm done, King Lightning. Be sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.